Hey yo, it's me Harper Savage, and today we're bringing back a series. That's right, it is Tiny Draws. Finally, it's been a couple years. I know, okay, I know. But it's one of the things I brought with me when I was away. Let's do a little flip through of what I've done in the past. And uh, this is what we're gonna be starting on today. Uh, Rhode Island on a map. Now, um, this one was really boring to me. Uh, I wasn't super excited to work on this. But basically, the Tiny Draws, if you're new here, is just like a little prompt book, a little portable prompt book. It's like maybe five by five inches, okay? And it's also an inch thick. Uh, <laughs> it's not easy to draw on this while balancing my hand when I get on the other page. Um, but the prompts are very simple and I thought I was going to like that, but it's like a lot of too simple, I guess. Like most of the time I just do the literal meaning of the prompt and it's just, it's not that great, I guess. So this prompt over here is a one letter word. There's not many of those. Um, so I had to pick. And I picked I because I thought I was going to draw eyeballs too. But I'm like, no, let's do like the, what is it called? Typography? I'm not sure uh, what it is really called. But I filled in that spot with a bunch of different eye shapes. Now I did not bring a whole lot of things with me, so. I will be drawing everything basically with the same couple of uh, me uh, mediums that I brought. And one of the mediums are these tiny, tiny little liner pens. And because I was still scared it was going to bleed through, even though I literally just checked, I decided to not like fully color them in. I do this diagonal line thing. I do this a lot in my bullet journal to fill in stuff too, so I was like, you know what, I do this all the time for myself. I think other people might find it like a cool way of filling in spaces without coloring it too. But I essentially just use every single uh, liner I brought. They, like It was like a rainbow assortment plus brown, black, and gray, I think. I just happened to make the correctical amount of eyes on the page. But yeah, these prompts are very, like, straightforward. Not very many ways to interpret them, so most of the time I do, like, the literal meaning of the words, you know? That's kind of why I didn't want to do this after, like, the first couple of videos, because I wasn't that excited to do it. But I decided I don't want to have too many incomplete series as is, is on my channel, so I'm going to bring it back. It won't always be like this with me doing several pages and then a voiceover. I'm probably going to do more of my other type of editing style and like video style. But because I was away, I didn't have a microphone to talk while I was doing it. And even if I did, it would have been like horrible quality. Now, this one is a nail art design. Now, as you can see, I don't wear nails. I don't do polish. I can't stand it. I can't even stand why my nails are long. But I decided if I were to tolerate all that stuff, what would I put on my nails? So I went with that like long, but not like incredibly long, um, slightly pointed look. I don't know if they have a special name. I, I like I don't know anything about nails, to be honest. And um, they're like they're not like the oval ones, but they're like more claw shaped, I guess. And I did this thick outline around them because I really liked this one person. I think it was like an ASM artist. They had done their nails in like the like an art style that looked like it was Okami or Borderlands where it had the thick outline around the nails and like she even painted on the shines. I'm like, I would do that too. That would be me. I would totally want that on my nails, have like a thick outline around them. I know people do makeup art like that too, but like, 
you know, this is a nail page, so I did nails. And I colored it in my favorite color, orange, as you can tell from my glove. I really like orange and peach colors. I can't stand yellow, though. Get me away from yellow. So I colored them in with uh, a paint marker. It's the Mondo Llama markers from Target. And they're white socks. Uh, <laughs> it's not the greatest. I had to go over it a couple of times to get the shine to like appear. And then I didn't bring any glitter markers, but I was like picturing they would be like sparkly nails and I tried to mimic sparkles, but I don't think it turned out like that, but that is what I was going for. All right, the next page is freckles. Now I ended up, now I ended up putting my um, little Canson book. It was like one of the smaller ones behind the page here because it's just hard with it being so small and like the book is an inch thick, okay? Like, the pages are an inch tall, laying down. So it was just like flapping and I just couldn't draw like that anymore. I did it for Rhode Island, but I couldn't do it for this one. And I decided to draw a people, Pearson, with wavy or curly hair. Because it's freckles. What else would I draw? <laughs> it's been a while since I've drawn a people in not my chibi style, so I was having a little bit of a hard time, and then especially because I like it was a cut off image. And here we go in with the liners again. Don't even ask me what those liners are. I have no idea. I got them like five years ago and I never used them. I don't like have any branding on them either. But I was like, I want to get these liners because they're short and I can bring them with me places. And then I just never did. I'm always like, oh, is this portable or ooh, can I bring this with me? And it's like, I don't go anywhere. Why do I need this stuff? But I always like mini stuff, you know, Is anyone else out there like that where they just like small things or compacted things just because. Now here's my favorite part, is the eyelashes. I can't believe I didn't think to leave like a spot for shine in the eyelashes though. I'm like, I did it with the hair. Why didn't I do it for the lashes? Oh, and I made a ginger, by the way. <laughs> if it wasn't obvious. Because I believe they have freckles a lot of the times. I had freckles growing up too, but you know, that's a kid thing, I feel. The eye of a sewing needle. Now I did the eye of a sewing machine needle uh, just because I thought it'd be a little bit more interesting than a regular old hoop. And it still ended up not being that great. And I did it in like a sketchy way because I went in straight with my um, my liners. I do it for the rest of the prompts, actually, as so I only use my liners and don't do any pencil from here on out. Now this page has four prompts. One's a thimble. The one I'm working on is the last bite of a cookie. That was like oddly specific, right? I actually really like how the cookie turned out, though. And a coat button. I went with like those weird dome shaped ones that stick out. I feel like they're usually on coats. And then here is a pearl onion. I had to look that up because I didn't know what that was. But it's like little onion looking things and I put parsley on them because I'm like, um, this is weird. They need something and most of the images had parsley or some kind of green on them. Now here we are working on a chocolate cheap. I decided to go on using the um, liners and do texture shading. Bling, I believe it's called. Um because it wasn't looking like a chocolate chip. You know, doing brown with that shape is always dangerous. And here we have an ample stem. I decided to add some color in to make it look dimensional and more sketchy, I guess. 
And I went ham with that stem. And we got a leaf. And then here comes the sketchbook back. And a tooth filling. Uh, I think mine ended up looking more like a cavity than a filling. But whatever. I was working with what I had. And a date on a penny. I literally just googled a penny. And copied the date that I saw. Because I didn't know what else to do here. Like I said, I feel like there's not really that many options for these prompts. And then uh, a garbanzo bean. I've never had one of those, like the onion pearls, so I had to look that up. I'm just checking out the other prompts here. All right, here is a flip through of what I did today. Uh, let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. I think mine was the freckles. Now, if you want to check out another Tiny Draws, you can go ahead and click the link on the left. And if you want to check out what you missed last, you can go ahead and click the link on the right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to do all the cool YouTube things of comment, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!